What up, Rafa Just Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to film a video for the business channel, Rafa Nation Business. If you haven't signed up, you haven't subscribed to Rafa Nation Business, go ahead and subscribe. Today, I want to talk about current and recent scams, right? I made a previous video. You can take a look at it in the um, previous list of videos, the videos that I've published before. And... I talked about 12 scams in Guyana. Now I want to talk about 12 global scams that guys are experiencing, but people are experiencing all over the world. I'm going to give you four of them today. Okay? So I'm going to talk about the too good to be true scam that I'm currently dealing with. I'm going to talk about the fake rental property and fake real estate that we're dealing with in Guyana right now. I'm going to talk about the return item scam because I'm selling items online now and then um, I have to be prepared for something called shrinkage and one of the ways in which shrinkage occurs is this um, return or did not receive an item scam and then I'm going to talk about the last one I haven't can't, can't recall it right now but I'm going to get to it at number four so number one is the too good to be true scam so normally you re I receive a lot of offers in email you know people are telling me oh why don't you um, ad advertise our new video game on your channel or why don't you advertise our new software on your channel we're gonna send you um, two thousand dollars or more five thousand dollars and I'm thinking I only have seven thousand subscribers how are you gonna pay me five thousand dollars to advertise your software right sounds too good to be true so I followed up with one of these. This is a scam run by people in the either Eastern Europe or Russia. And the reason I know that is because I'm checking um, the hits on my websites. And it turns out that the period when I'm getting these um, scam emails, the number of hits on my website from Russia goes up, right? Goes to number one. Now there's a company called Cloud uh, Flare that handles my security, my web security, and Cloudflare reports the um, number of attacks on my hacking attempts on my website and that they have um, managed to block. And it gives me a number like 44 or 55 attacks have been blocked in the last 30 days or 28 days or so on. And so those, <laughs> the scam emails tend to correspond to the same time when the number of attacks on my websites are going up but here is how the scam works i get an email telling me that the company vista create which is a legitimate company on the internet that um, sells it's kind of a mm, design a graphics design um, software company and they want this is the email telling me that they want this company wants me to advertise their product on my YouTube channel and they're gonna send me X amount of dollars two thousand three thousand five thousand dollars and I'm getting these emails one after the other all the time so I responded to the email and I said okay let me see what this is about immediately they sent me a return email with a long list of things that I needed to do one of which is to sign a contract and the other is to download some software um, to my to my Windows computer, not my MacBook or Apple computer, just my Windows computer. So I did that, I op opened the email, and because I don't use a Ma an Apple, I use a Mac, I figured they, they, they're, not, they're not gonna be able to hack my Mac because a lot of these viruses are written for Windows, and that's probably why they specify a Windows computer. So I downloaded the item, and when I opened the contract, it was, I kid you not, a sign up form for al-qaeda in other words there's a long list of um like 10 or 15 things that you have to swear to and you have to pledge allegiance to right and it's written in arabic and in english and the bottom of it is like you're a soldier in this army and you must um, pledge your allegiance to this cause which might have been some caliph i don't know what it is some some um <laughs> some army of Al-Qaeda. So of course I deleted it and, de and deleted all the files that I downloaded. But I also went ahead and contacted the company Vista Prince. 
and ask them, you know, are you guys um, advertising on YouTube? Are you recruiting adver uh, advertisers on YouTube? And I received this email and so on. So the guy who responded from their um, Facebook website says, no, send me the um, email. Let's take a look at it. So I sent them forward the copy of the email that I received from the scammers. And I said, this is not our email. We did not contact you. Please stop. Please do not respond to this, um, to this uh, scammer anymore. So I continue to get these emails, right, from people telling me that they want me to advertise um, Hogwarts, um, the game, some, uh, some kind of uh, video game on, on, um, on the internet asking me to advertise other kinds of software and this is ongoing so it's a scam that you should be aware of it's too good to be true and it's one of those scams where they're trying to hack into your computer to steal your banking information and once they get access to your banking information they empty out your bank account your credit cards and all that stuff right so it's a too good to be true scam and they're trying to get into your accounts number two is the um, property scams so there are lots of people who are trying to sell property that is not theirs. Right next door to me where I live, there is an empty lot where somebody, um, an expatriate guy, he was building his house and he'd left it for a while. And I kid you not, a number of um, vehicles have pulled up to this property inquiring about its status, whether it's a sale. And the next thing you know, a number of people are coming to re review the property saying that somebody told them it's for sale they are in talks with the seller for this property next door so there are people who are trying to sell property that does not belong to them it's a scam the thing you need to do is to verify that the title the deed to the property is uncomplicated and available right there are people who are doing the same thing with rental property they put ads in the um, online uh, rental um, websites like um, you know them so you, you can advertise a property and they don't really ask you to verify your ownership of the property right you can put a uh, property on Airbnb or Craigslist that um, <laughs> lists rental of, an, of, a, of a, um, an apartment say in New York City and you require <laughs> You require first and last month's uh, rent as security, right? Two months security deposit and, and one month of rent. And you collect thousands of dollars. They, this is what the scammers are trying to do. They collect thousands of dollars from people who are anxious to rent property in New York City. And then when they show up, when the renter shows up for the property to take possession of the property, the property does not exist, right? So this is the rental scam and the real estate scam. Watch out for these. They're actually operating in Guyana and they're operating internationally, globally, in most, most of the major cities uh, through Airbnb and Craigslist and places like this. The third scam is something I'm calling the Jamaican scam because it was first um, described to me by a Jamaican friend in college. This is 20 years ago and I, I never um, had cause to think about or worry about it. But now that I'm selling, um, you know, my Merchandise online is something that is always at the front of my mind and this is the um, Return item scam or did not receive item scam. This is where somebody orders an item from your um, website or from your, your online store and After they've paid for it and you ship the item to them They claim that they did not receive the item. The item never arrived the whole idea is that they want to get two items. So let's say they bought a pair of shoes from your website. They will say they did not receive the item. Can you send it again? So you send another item and they get two items for the price of one. Now this Jamaican girl from Yad who described this scam for me, she said they did it all the time in New York City. You know, you order some item online from the store and you just claim that the item never arrived and they would just send you another item. Right, this I'm calling the Jamaican scam like the Nigerian scam because the Nigerian print scam was an email scam that basically preyed on people who 
um, were accustomed to like lottery money, you know, winning the lottery. So they, the Nigerians created a scam that kind of um, took advantage of people who wanted free money. This Jamaican scam is where a Jamaican girl explained to me that they did this all the time. You just order an item online and then you claim that the item never arrived. So the way to deal with this scam if you're a seller online is to make sure that you track the shipment of the item. So make sure that you pay for tracking, you track the shipment and you convey um, some instructions that require the item to be signed for when it is received and so that you can verify that the item was delivered. Then you don't end up, you know, losing items um, through scammers who are trying to collect two or three items for the price of one. So those are three of the important scams that are ongoing, right? If you're online and you're selling items online or you're um, looking to do business online, the too good to be through scam is one you ought to look out for. The real estate scam is another item, another scam you ought to look out for. And the return or did not receive item scam is one you have to look out for. Now, if you know of all the scams that are ongoing, it's important to keep up to date, right? There are lots and lots of scams that are um, being, are constantly being created and um, perpetrated against innocent people. The only way to, um, to protect yourself is to keep constantly updating your knowledge of the scams that are ongoing, that are out there, that are operating. And so if you know any of any of these new scams that I have not listed and that you're aware of, leave them in the comments below because I'm sure somebody would be interested in knowing the, uh, how to avoid the growing list of scams and scammers on the internet in the age of the internet. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Remember, if you haven't signed up or if you haven't um, subscribed to my other channels, they are up and running. I have Raffle Nation Business. I already loaded some videos up there. I have Raffle Nation Medicine. It's already up there. Go out there. Um, subscribe to these channels. Let's get the subscriber, subscriber count up uh, so that I can eventually begin to monetize those channels. And remember, you can purchase merchandise Raffle Nation brand merchandise from my online store. I will leave the link in the description below. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later.